Here's Mookie Betts. As he swings and hits a line drive out to left. And that gets down in front of Jennings, a base hit. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Xander Bogarts steps in to try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. And that's a nice job right there to drive in the run by the last guy. And it can definitely fire up a team when someone comes through big time with two outs. Kiermaier is there to make the catch and mercifully the side is finally retired. But a big inning here is seven runs cross the plate and this lead grows even wider. We've played two full. Boston's out in front 13 to nothing. Matt Vaskersian, Eric Karros, Steve Lyons Leading as Desmond Rays. Jennings settles the in to kick Gilder, things off for Tampa Bay. Desmond. Jennings. And that swung on and missed for strike one. You like what you've seen from this guy so far? I do. I, I like where he's putting the fastball, and I like the movement he's been getting on both his curveball and changeup. I think he'll do well. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. Kurt Casale will stand in, back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Real good lateral movement on that two-seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing it. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. Well, I'll tell you, nothing comes easy when this guy's out there on the mound. Those are two perfect pitches on the outside corner. Well, right now, he is just carving them up, dare I say, like a Thanksgiving turkey. That's seven strikeouts already, and he's made it look easy so far. Kevin Kiermeyer stands in looking to put the bat on the ball for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Price is ready. Here's the first pitch. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Oh, and he's finding his groove out there okay. now. It's 0-2. And, and there's number eight. One away. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So add one more name to the record book here as he strikes out the side on nine pitches. More from Boston after this. David Ortiz. Digs into the box Leading in the bottom the of inning number three. Well, you know, he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw on to first takes care of Ortiz as the shift works to perfection that time. One away. Alex Colome is going to come on to pitch here and seeing as though it's just the third inning he may be asked to work for a while. Chris Young digs in now after lining out in his last try and action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right hander's begun to get loose and a high strike to begin the at bat it's 0 and 1. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Kiermaier on the run. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Up next for the Red Sox. Brock Holt steps in here. He'll look to keep it going after hitting a double and scoring a run last time up. Boy, he had a great at bat last time up, and he'll look for another pitch he can drive right here. And that's dead center for strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermaier moves over. And that retires the side. Red Sox go down 1-2-3. But they hold a commanding 13-0 lead. 
Brandon Geyer will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so against a guy who's definitely in a groove out there. Yeah, he struck out the side his last time through, and they've got to do something to get this guy out of the role that he's been on. Tapper up the line. Barehanded on the hop. Not in time. Man, almost a great play. Almost got him after the great stop, but it's a base hit, and the leadoff man's on to start the inning. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Here's the 0-1 pitch. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Not only has he rung up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked a batter to this point. So his control has been really, really spot on so far. Here's Steve Pierce now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, one and oh. That's by him for strike one. He's set. Here comes the one one. A good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two. No runs two hits and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. The third baseman, number three, Evan, Evan Longoria. Longoria, is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and he went down in flames, too. Got him on just three pitches. Here comes the first pitch. First pitch hacking oh, here, and that's yeah. the first strike. Boy, he has been a first strike throwing machine, hasn't he? He's hardly been behind in the count all game long. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Ray's strand just the one. Still looking up at a 13-0 score. Hanley Ramirez strides into the box now. Lead launched the one Ramirez over the wall back in the opening frame. Hanley Ramirez. Into the windup and the pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. The throw into second. And a good decision to push it that time. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. And they'll slap the tag on him here in the rundown between second and third. Justin Pedroia. Dustin Pedroia steps in working on a one for two game so far and here's a fastball called for strike one line drive to center field but sadly for him this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out the minute he hits that he, he's thinking it's a base hit all the way but this is one of those situations where you, know, you get penalized for hitting the ball too hard. And this stayed up long enough to find the outfielder's glove out there. Into the box, Blake Swihart hit hard towards center. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. So he's aboard with his second hit of the afternoon so far as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. Yeah, Matt, he's one of the leaders in the American League this year fifth at the moment so we'll see if he can stay hot into the dog days of summer and even move up on that list having a great year regardless though Ooh. 
drilled on the ground to short. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. This is what you call an ambush swing right here. You're hitting in the back of the order. You're looking dead red early in the count. Kind of just hoping the pitcher might relax and forget about you for a minute. Then you get that fastball middle in and you jump all over it. Here's Mookie Betts. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Yeah, even with two on and two away, this is not a guy that's going to back down out there. He comes right after him with a fastball and he gets ahead. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. His third home run of the ball game as the blowout continues. Well, we wondered what he'd have to do for an encore. <laughs> Here it is. His third home run of the ball game. He's having an afternoon to remember so far. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Xander Bogarts. Now another one hit deep to left. Back goes Kiermaier, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Man, I'll tell you, it seems like all game long he's been on every pitch that he's seen. This one's no exception, and it might be his best swing so far. This just about gets out of here, and he'll wind up at second with a double off the wall. In now, David Ortiz, as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. For Bogarts, he's at second with his ninth two base hit of the year. Now a pitch swung on and missed as the count goes to Owen 2 to Ortiz. And he's really going to have to fight now. You got to take a little bit out of your swing and find a way to put this ball in play. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field. And this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His second home run of the game as they just continue to pour it on here. When you have a hitter down in the count like that, you got to bury him or at least get him to chase something out of the zone. That pitch is way too hittable, and he pays for it just an enormous mistake and now he's so upset with himself. Here's Chris Young. Chris. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Yeah same pitch here from the home run ball but this one's in a much better spot down at the knees. This is line to left. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Throw into second, and he is in there. I think this is a bad angle to the ball, and let's just say not so great a decision to dive. He should have gotten to this ball, but instead he winds up playing this one into extra bases. Here's Brock Holt now. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Time to play pitching coach. What's he doing wrong? It's more of a question of what's he doing right? It ain't much. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Well, no taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. Lined hard toward right center. 
And he will run this one down as he pulls it in around the letters, and the inning is over. Logan Forsythe heads for the box to start off.